Hello there, lovely soul, and welcome to the Aries 20, uh, May 2021 Terran Oracle reading. I'm Infinity, and this has been really interesting with Aries. Real, a couple of farce, false starts here with your reading. Uh, I thought I had recorded it, and it came to my attention that I hadn't done it or, or recorded it. And... Um, <laughs> cards are jumping and that uh this was yesterday on the fourth today's the fifth so today's 5 5 2021 the beginning of our our may stargate that goes on for 10 days if you're unfamiliar with stargates please check out my video about that i'll have it in a card or at the end of the video you could just check my channel and search for stargates and you will get a couple of videos come up on that uh, but anyhow uh so earlier today i did a reading a whole reading it was almost 50 minutes and then come to find out it wasn't recording it didn't record any of it so i checked in to see if i was to still go over that same those same cards uh even though i wasn't pulling them um and i was told no i was told to do a whole new reading by my guides and so here we are so it's been pretty interesting aries gotta say first i thought i did it then i did it and it didn't record so <laughs> here we are we're gonna get into it here if you don't know me i'm infinity shaman mystic medical medium psychic physical empath channeler medium psychic and astral meditation guide channeled astral channeling astral meditation guide and ascension coach you can check out my services on the healingbutterfly.org i have a podcast i have free ebooks a bunch of uh self-healing guided meditations um that you are encouraged to check out and please see if there's any one-on-one -on -one services that are I can provide for you if you're so guided okay so I already got four cards here Aries and we're gonna get two more that one and this one okay so let's see what we get six sorry four of swords the chariot in reverse the star king of pentacles the devil and ace of wands in reverse let me check in here on these on the the uh, placement if they're gonna stay in reverse or not that one is not and that one is not okay so even though they can come out in reverse doesn't mean that they stay that way at least for me when i check in uh so we have set we have i want to say seven for some reason four of swords for you here four of swords the chariot the star king of pentacles the devil and ace of wands okay so let's let me check in here and see what i get for you aries again sun moon or rising signs and of course cross watchers you could be dealing or interested in what's going on with an aries okay so there's been some definite downtime um if you've been feeling uh extra tired um fatigued but not like in necessarily a bad way you could be going through a lot of of growth and healing and energy movement and um all that kind of stuff happening right now where you just you know stay or you've had to stay i should say you've had to stay or felt like being more cocooned she's in a nest here so it's like being cocooned kind of feeling um needing to feel protected and just really working on the inner um because we have this chariot so things are going to be moving you're going to be uh guided to do more in terms of actual um more, more on the outside work than in than you know it all being on the inside if i could put it that way um and your the star here 
the star. Let me tap in here. So you're really looking to open up to incoming energies as far as your galactic um, brothers and sisters. I could be talking to a star seed here. Um, uh, or if you know, if you identify as a star seed, I'm kind of picking up on that here a little bit with this star card. Um, and that's not usually an association that I make, honestly, with the star seed and the star card. It really isn't. Sounds like it might be, but it's not. Um, but I am picking up on that here. Like you're really, like I'm really tapping into these stars up here at the top of the card, not even the brightest spot, but around it. Like I'm tapping into these stars here and the stars behind um, the bright star. And um, so you're getting some high level galactic information is what I'm really picking up on here. Um, I'm also picking up on like Merlin energy. So if you've connected or feel more connected to Merlin or that type of alchemy and with like, like wise old sagey type um, energy I'm picking up with the king of pentacles um, and that the spirit animal of the wolf or the dog but I'm definitely picking up wolf here uh, is guiding you uh, very protective energy wanting to wanting to help you with this um the illusions that are surrounding a certain situation in your life um could be with friends or family but there's definitely shadow attached there and your guides and guardians are really coming through and wanting they're saying like see down there at the bottom it's like your this this whoops this image here um is somebody who's distraught but the devil card is about illusions and and being being like trapped in illusions thinking that things are a certain way when they are not really that way it's just our perception so um if there's definite hesitation to with with moving forward with whatever this is that needs to be there's something that needs to be cleared in your in your field in your environment with the people you associate with um and you are open to that incoming information for for healing the ace of wands fire energy uh there's definite oh, there's a there's big time there's big time uh entanglements is the word i'm hearing entanglements energetically with other people that you need to get up in, into the upper worlds with with your guides so it's really great that you're getting this upper level uh the star coming in so you're definitely filtering through you may not be conscious of it you may it may not be something that you're even conscious of but it's definitely happening and it's definitely happening um with this stargate like this stargate is really going to activate your light codes are coming in from the sun to activate us and for you specifically you are being you're going to be guided to clean up an energetic situation in your environment um, most likely this is when i say environment most likely this is where you are living but it could be it could be also just your inner circle of people so it could be friends that are really close or roommates that all live together a family that all lives together but there's there's energy there that definitely needs to be cleaned. the devil is there with this energy really trapping people in their in their headspace and that's what really needs to get released and healed i feel like a lot of energy healing and clearing needs to take place in this environment um but it is going to uh Wow, that's really interesting. Look at these two cards together. Wow, that is really interesting. Look at these two cards together. 
and the pattern of light that takes place here, if I could get it really close together. Look at that. Look at that swirl of energy. So starting up here and so here and it goes around here and it comes up here and this this line is like almost perfectly here. So we're we're energy is coming in like spirit is coming in taking you guiding you leading you to uh with the chariot forward and to get into a better sense of um balance in the environment you're the one who's having like these horses the black and the white and they're always kind of shown like the person that's manning the chariot has to control these two horses that seemingly are going in opposite directions have very different energy but the the job of the chariot rider or driver <laughs> is to get them to work together and be in harmony and unison as they go forward because there's so much energy so chariot can be kind of like a struggle to get moving um in the sense of where are you going what's your end what's your goal here and where are the energies that you need to get into alignment and the information of that for that is coming in i feel like you already know what i'm talking about and that um you know that incoming information is definitely nest like is coming on a subconscious and conscious level uh, working with your high level spirit guide, your guardian angel, archangels, ascended masters um, like this and and you seeking them out. So if you don't already have a relationship with these types, with a Merlin, with um, Mother Gaia, with Metatron, Michael, um, the, uh, and any other type of, it could be, I mean, it's just, the, these are the ones that I work most closely with, Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, Metatron, um, Raziel, uh, Raguel, um, are kind of coming through right here, but if you don't already have an established relationship there, they're coming through along with your galactic brothers and sisters, um, basically the, the high council, high level um, connection. These are the ones I connect to, and these are the ones that are coming through now. So you may have already worked with them, maybe in, in healing, maybe in meditations. These are the types of energies that I am channeling through my uh, channeled guided astral meditations so you could be on that level if you are great if you're not yet please um, go through my meditations to connect um, but I very much feel like you are headed towards greater knowledge and wisdom clearing of energy in your environment that you're open to that that there's entanglements that need to be sorted out but that it, it i feel it feels positive to me like if you follow your guidance and it's like you know it's like i'm in a waiting i'm in a waiting stage is what i'm feeling like i'm still here waiting to feel like complete with what needs to come in and what i need to do about that so let's move on to whoopsie let's move on to the we're going to do the inner quest reading from the Kim Kranz Wild Unknown Archetype deck. We get one card from the selves, one from the places, and one from the tools, and then another from the initiations. Feeling this one here. And we'll go through them directly from the book, and this will give us a good picture of what where you're at with your story with what's coming next and all that good stuff so or what you need to know now for the upcoming month and beyond uh, and i guess my dog got out and she's locked out awesome okay i'm back um so we're going on to the tools and next we will get the theme 
or initiation of the theme for your story here. <laughs> oh, there's not that many of them and I'm just not getting it. Wow. There. Weird. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you, Aries. It's been weird. <laughs> it's been weird. Okay, first one, the judge. Second one, the river. Third one, the vessel. And the fourth one, Eros. Okay. So, the judge as your self card, the river, the river is the place, the vessel is the tool, and Eros is the initiation. So, let's get into the book. If I could find it. Uh, 89. Judge has come up a couple of times in these readings. Interesting. The judge. Okay, here we go. The critic, the diplomat, the advocate. The judge has an incredibly important job. They work every waking hour of every day, helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear, wise discernment turns into a playful judgment. Sorry, painful judgment. Like playful, painful judgment of self and others ironically the judge's energy can be a seed of racism bigotry and fear-mongering this is the judge out of balance building walls separating from other when this same discerning force is made conscious and healed however the judge may be found advocating for civil rights causes standing up for the underdog providing resources for those in need and forgiving again and again love is the deciding factor awakening this archetype is essential for the complex times we are in get your judge in order the world needs it and when light discernment advocacy right action compassion and when dark critical punishing unforgiving while building okay aries what i'm feeling here is that there's both of these um, energies happening at the same time that within this dynamic of whatever is going on here that needs to be cleared out and and like fixed and I really feel this is relationship it could be with one other person or a whole group of people a family roommates best friends um you know a group that continuously work on a project or are in a band or um, are you know in a relationship just two people in a relationship or it could be that it's more that it's family um, and so it's it's any it's it's any of that so however it sits in this works in your life but there's definitely a situation and it and it may not even be like you're a direct player in it um it could be what's happening more with the other person or people i feel like there's more excuse me um i do feel that there's more than just two people i feel that that there's more of a group here um because it it just feels like also with that king of pentacles i feel like it's overseeing not just one but i'm hearing many so the judge is about using discernment to like how do we go about like nurturing this and and dealing with this in a way that's fair and just and that everybody is taken care of and heard and that sort of thing uh, 
but that in the past there has been judgment there has been kind of the blame game or misunderstood or hurt feelings uh communication hasn't been fantastic and so there's been pieces that are in shadow of the overall situation could be like people everybody thinks they know everything but they don't and there's shadowy spots in everybody's vision about this collective situation <laughs> Sorry, but I am I'm just picking up on a couple more things. It's like you've been through this whole thing with you has been really good, really positive, really. Um, this isn't a bad thing with this four of swords here. This is about you really taking care of yourself and and coming. I mean, these two cards next to each other are so different so different the four of swords and the chariot it's like they couldn't be more different in energy. <laughs> they are so different in energy and that's what i'm getting here there's a big difference a big shift a big change and that will really help you and others the more you share your story and what you've been through i feel like there's people that are beginning to go through a spiritual awakening uh, taking care of the self being mindful of the body and energy and all of this stuff that what what you've been doing here with this four of swords um and and that energy needs to rush. It needs to come out of you. Is is ready to start coming out and and kind of, and like putting it. It's also like putting that that it's like. And I know that we can see this like this coming down, but it's also like this energy going up. Like you're this person and you're sending this information up because for others to see and know about and you're being guided to do that you just may not yet know exactly how to do that um and you may have some um trepidation about it but i think deep down you know like i i just like i know like I know that this is coming and I need to, to kind of gear up for this sort of going from the out from the inside out I feel like okay so let's get into the river 131 The stream, the flow, the current. There is a reason so many rituals of change and rebirth take place in the river. It is forgiveness embodied in physical form. Without asking anything in return, the river washes away what is no longer necessary, smoothing over sharp edges and accepting all our mistakes and grievances. Once we step in, we are no longer in control. The river carries us further down the stream of transformation than we plan to go. Its waters have a special gift for reflecting back to us a new and dreamlike vision. Once the tears have passed, we see ourselves as we haven't before. The river, oh sorry, too far down, uh, as we haven't before, with a little more lightness, grace, and fluidity. Keep in mind that, keep in mind the you that's, the you that stands within the river is the real you, full and deep of emotion and potential. Nothing to hide, nothing to judge. You may drink in the sight of your true self. Wow, these two cards together, quite a trip. Uh, when light, acceptance, grace, reflection, and forgiveness, and when dark torment of emotion, flooding, and overwhelm. So the river water healing being carried further into the uh the future into and where the new where the you is what did it say here um let's see
We see ourselves, once the tears have passed, we see ourselves like, like we haven't before with a little more lightness, grace, fluidity, and keep in mind when you stand in the river, that's the real you. So the real you needing to come out and in the river that's very out and open and healing and public and all of that. And that's like kind of like what I was saying before, like, like the you, you're being pushed into to take yourself this new you person into the future um to show you know who you are your story to share that with your closest people is definitely on the forefront here and again the water is i'm really feeling the water energy the healing energy of water um, just, just signifying that healing of energy is necessary, a clearing of negative energy is necessary so we can like come out and of back, come back out of the river in a whole new energetic space. Okay, let's get into the vessel. the vessel okay the body the container the cup the vessel may be the most powerful archetypal form on earth it is everywhere cups hold liquid stoves hold fire our bodies hold organs our homes hold families through the simple act of separation the vessel protects what is what it contains nest protects the eggs uh, savings accounts protect our earnings. Even the planets are contained within the circular orbit. When this card appears, it's time to assess what is being held together and how. It is the vessel too tight, too loose, broken, empty, full? Or perhaps there is no vessel at all and the contents spill in every direction. It is natural for structures to be formed and eventually fall apart. The vessel has a life cycle that must be honored. It is is it time for you to build, break, or repair? You must find out. Okay, so right off the top here, repair is the answer. Um, we need to repair the vessel. Um, this talked about how um, stoves hold, hold fire, our bodies hold organs, our homes hold families. This feels like a family situation that's being held together, but not in the lightest energy. That there is a lot of this this dark shadowy energy here that needs to be um reassessed and brought into the light like the light is in there and it's like the truth and the love is here i'm feeling but there's a lot of murkiness in in the vessel in the water in the cup in the river like we have both like the vessel firstly being spoken of like the body the container the cup the cup to you holding liquid typically so we have water energy here um coming in because in your with the cards with the tarot cards we have swords the chariot the star king of pentacles uh the devil and ace of wands we have fire and air ether um and spirit but not water and in your archetypal cards we have water coming through pretty strongly here uh so and fire water light and fire coming through here but definitely water um and water again really represents healing of all of the elements it's water that that represents healing so there's healing that needs to be done here. We need to look inside the vessel. We need to go into the river. We need to clear this energy out. We need to, um, and what the judge is saying, let's go, let's try to see this from a, like a balanced point of view with, with like a nurturing point of view to balance out the energies, um, and to see it like a mediator, like a judge, like a counselor, like a healer. What does everybody need to be heard, to be, to be, uh, 
rid of the baggage, the burden of energy that is being held held so tightly and that's causing this this friction in the body and 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 sorry in in each individual body in the vessel there is friction and um what's the word uh there's friction and there excuse me a lot of density in all of the bodies and you could be that person in the situation that feel excuse me that feels everything everybody you're in your the vessel coming through to say you really need it oh gosh now do i have the hiccups you gotta be kidding <laughs> uh the vessel again also coming through saying this needs to be whatever this is this darkness that the devil is showing you here this devil card is saying there is something here there's there's darkness there's illusion there's entrapment um, but it's but it's not anything that can't be fixed or rectified or transmuted and put into a new into a new space new timelines um, but at the same time getting people everybody on board that this is actually you know something to to really uh, put effort and time and energy into because it does, I go back to this, even if it's a small family, even a, it could be a big family, a small family, it just feels very, very, um, long, like long history with these people could go back to, um, you know, childhood grievances and things like this. But, you know, people can know each other since they were five years old. My son has friends from way back then so that's definitely a possibility it's not so common but it is a thing so whether this is actually your brothers sisters father mother you know whatever or extended family or if it's more of a really tight knit group of people either way you are definitely you know picking up on this and feeling all this energy and as you rise and connect and take care of yourself and go through your 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 change here uh you're just feeling that more and more it's like i've got we've got to take care we've got to deal with this like no more sweeping under the rug no more just you know like not paying attention to this uh and i think you'll find that however many people are involved in this that these people are going to be like wanting resolution wanting to feel better wanting less tension it feels like a lot of tension in the environment let's get into eros and see what we get here love as desire eroticism eroticism and sensuality Though eros can be depicted as unbridled sexuality and eroticism, a more contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy leads us to the root of desire itself. What do we long for? Why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy? Eros reconnects us with a primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, plants, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. Eros allows us to momentarily unite our heart embraces otherness and in doing so we further understand our own our life force awakens this card reveals an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth you may find yourself swirling in a new territory of desire and sensuality explore the labyrinth with a curious and honest heart and remember though the way is circuitous you are always being led towards its center when light passion playfulness sexual health and when dark madness projection obsession and i like to throw jealousy in there as well <laughs> because yeah okay so in this particular case love so love is the first word coming out here for eros um and One, there's one very specific little sentence uh, here that <sighs> I 
Yeah, this is about... It's interesting, because we got Eros and not Agape. And Agape is about uh, devotion, unconditional love. But this is an interesting, different kind of like look here. It's like it talks about an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth. And that's kind of it's interesting because even though this doesn't feel at least right now that it has to do with any kind of passion or sex, you, this could be about, you know, a relationship where the, the love ha or the intimacy, the sexual chemistry and passion has kind of taken a dip. Um, because of all this tension going on, but it feels kind of more like this is going, this is really an understanding of the complexity of love and intimacy and really being vulnerable in and not not, not going into the into the dark parts of love kind of thing that like at the at the end here um madness projection obsession because it feels like there has been projection even if this is like a not a ro romantic stuff it feels like there's been pro a project projection and obsession into the history of whatever this is and and this card is like Again, what do you long for? What do you, sorry, why, what do you long for? What is the, tr what, what, I think that's a great question to ask here. What do you want? Do you want resolution? Do you want closure? Do you want um, things to get, uh, to continue in the way that they're continuing? Um, where is everybody with love in their life when it comes to the different players in this game? Um, that you're connected to like let's take a let's take a real look at our how we're connected um, through energy and physic and physicality through through being closer together something like that it feels like and also until this is sorted out the capacity for love and unconditional love and true intimacy with within you and the different people or the different people and each other or the different you and them with other people is going to be limited because or the perception and the illusion like like the devil and eros are to me those those energies kind of speak to each other it's like this is not the real way we look we're to look at love and relationships and communication and being vulnerable and unconditional love this has a skewed perception and spin on it what do we do to get it back to get it to a healthy place interesting okay so let's get into your uh Hidden World Oracle to round this out here for you, Aries. Whoa. Interested. Whoop. That didn't work very well. Interested to see what we get here for the Hidden World message what needs to take place what you need to do um but i definitely feel some higher whoa higher level um info coming through definitely definitely through astral and meditation so make that i feel like it's it is a part of your your life but specifically think about meditating on this situation and to download guidance as to what your next steps will be. Okay, here we go. Card number 10, Aurora Garden, beginning initiate, initiate and origin. Oh, I love this card. So tap in with that. Just take a look there at 
Aurora Garden. And let's get, whoa, let's get into, oh, look at that. Look at what just flipped over as I, I put my book on the deck for whatever reason, as I picked it up, this is the top card that flipped over the 10 of pentacles. So I'm going to leave that out here because I was going to put it back and I heard, nope, look at it tap into it so yeah we're definitely dealing here with with some type feels very family type type of energy and this is also the future this is i feel this is future energy um that's going to feel really good once we get through this this circumstance okay interesting let's get to number 10 Okay, beneath the play of light within the sky, the auroras that fill us with wonder and awe like lie ancient temples and divine ones, intact emerging only when the, condi the conditions align. Oh, excuse me. Then they can find their way back into the world for a moment to be glimpsed by those who can see clearly the veils between the worlds are parted for a time in this sacred place you are invited to dwell a while to talk of your deep dreams to hear music that will open your heart to allow your mind to expand until you feel the constraints of personality giving way to the call of the soul Within this space, you are encouraged to begin again, to be as a child within the world when you return, to have a response that is clear and open and wise in the way an adult has forgotten to be. For when we begin again, and when we go back to the very essence of who we are, we can then walk in the world and speak the truth, perceive what is there, know the intent of others, and make choices that guide us in the direction of spirit. When this card comes, know you are being invited to take part in the initiation of this temporary temple, this place of light and sound. You, you will be reminded of who you truly are. You are not only layers of conditioning, a certain personality, a gathering of experiences. This is a chance to free yourself of the old aspects of the self, an opportunity to be reborn into the next stage of your life. This ne next stage will offer you a space beyond that of the physical world, alliances which are both within and beyond nature, and you will witness marvels of the spirit grow within this space just as the flowers do, for you are as glorious as the sky, as eternal as the light itself and illumination you are about to witness a miracle to remind you that you are that you are the living embodiment of wonder oh so good ah, so so good gets me all warm and fuzzy inside okay so really feeling like this is really telling you like go very very intentionally like we see the star they're pointing me to the star here remember how i said i'm i'm my i'm feeling in this and that would be like where 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 the temples are where the healing temple the the, the dream temple the aurora garden is another temple and um, I really feel like this is what it's saying. Like, like you're going to receive such hot, you're receiving, you have been receiving and you will continue to receive. You are going through an initiation stage or, um, and you may have already been feeling like this or really actively working, like working in this type of energy. Um, more is gonna come to you, there are, uh definitely energies here to just let you know with this card that that you that you and also i'm hearing the ones that you are connected to uh just kind of have to step out of that it's like i feel like a cracking of like like the costume got hard with 
and the mask and the costume and and everything that you wear you would wear in a in a play or whatever that it all like got hard like concrete and it's cracking and you're gonna step out of that like these are the old shells and what's incoming is to help you regenerate on the inside and come out someone new and not just for you but for the people that you're connected to each one of these people whether it's three or five or eight or 20 um each one of these people um have their own set of circumstances that they're ready to break out of and it's like it's like the spark that lights the match that or the spark that lights the fire is what's happening here that needs that needs to, to go needs to happen again being reminded of this ace of wands this ace of wands very targeted energy um also healing energy so take your time to take yourself to a place like this to a place where you can really uh begin to shed old constructs and experiences and traumas for yourself i have a i'm being pointed to my channeled guided astral meditation for self-healing that is uh healing or yeah healing the inner child and integrating with the inner child i definitely recommend going there for yourself and if it works for you to forward that, do that meditation, see how it feels and see if the other people in your life would be um, open to doing that type of meditation because this is like deep healing and integration from a from the child, um, the inner child aspect and integrating with that energy, taking responsibility from a higher perspective for your inner child because really true deep healing we need to go back 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 and really un untangle things and if it is family then it's there's a lot there it's it's complicated there's a lot of energy but there's a lot of love here and when i when this card like flew out it like spun here it literally like hit the table i know you couldn't see it but it like did this spinny thing and i'm like uh okay and I was going to put it back, like I said, and it was like, no, you can't do that. So this is definitely, um, and there's a lot of children in this picture. So that's another thing that's telling me too. We need to get down to like deep. We need to go deep here, Aries. Okay, I want to thank you so much for being here. I hope that these mes messages resonate with you. Hope you pick up on this forward movement, this need to heal, this connection, connections coming through, the new timelines to rectify the stagnant, chaotic, negative, shadowy energy that's in between everything. Um, and and to to get this into a new in like to pay it's like everything needs to be picked up and put someplace different and that's the energy that's whoa that's gonna come through for you um through this stargate and beyond so i uh wish you well with this sending lots of love to you uh if this reading does uh, resonate with you please let me know I'd love a like subscribe if you'd like to come back for meditations energy updates tarot and oracle readings all the time and I'll be going live with all of that stuff um, in the near future uh, other than that I wish you a beautiful May and um, until next time infinite love and blessings bye for now